So a few years ago, I got this uh, Fender Frontman 15G, 15 watt amplifier, and uh, it worked great for a while until all of a sudden, a couple weeks ago, I plugged it in to use it, and what happened was it made a buzzing sound, and the LED power light didn't come on, and uh, then all of a sudden it just stopped. So, I opened it up, and uh, ignore that for a second, I'll get to that, and uh, let's see, I'll take this flashlight, hacked it, there'll be a future video about that, but you see the fuse is missing, because I took it out. Well, over here, here is the original fuse, it's a 500 milli milliamp slow blow fuse. And uh, GMA size, which is 5 millimeters by 20 millimeters. And I checked that, and it was dead. So, like, oh, I have this huge stack of fuses. Why not just replace it with this one, which I just did today? And uh, same thing as before. The power light didn't come on, loud buzzing. And it blew within 30 seconds or less. So then, I went to some forums... And I did some research, and I found that basically the uh, these occasionally will have a problem with uh, either the TDA twenty fifty chip, which is inside, or an output transistor. So, using that knowledge, I'm trying to show you where the problem is, and. Uh, Yeah, it's not showing up the greatest, but there's a transistor right there. See, between those two capacitors, that little black half-circle thing. Let's see if I can illuminate it any better. Right? I don't have any free hands, but you can, you can kind of see it. Anyway. No, that's not working at all. Anyway, I... Uh, looked it up, and found that that is what you're supposed to replace. Now my question is, how am I going to get this board out of here to do the soldering? Because that part, not attached, but this part is attached with... Turn it around here for a second. Two screws. And you can't get to them from the top. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. It wasn't coming out before. And, uh, came out now. That's really weird. So, see if I can get it out now. <laughs> I tried for like two hours to get this thing apart. And as soon as I turn this camera on and start to explain the problem in the dark, it can come out. So, I'll get back to you in a second. Okay, I got it out now. That was that was really weird. I tried for a long time to get that out. Here's the uh, empty enclosure. Look, I was pulling screws off. I pulled a couple of the feet off of it. No. Nope. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I thought you wouldn't be able to get these. I thought they were both to the housing somehow. I was wrong. Sometimes it's good to be wrong, though. So, now that I can get a close-up put this flashlight here. That is the output transistor that I was talking about. It's a J111. And I found a place where I can buy them online, so I'm going to order like 10 of them, because they're really cheap. And, uh, yeah, see if that fixes the problem. So, yeah, when I was looking at the forums, it seems like that was the problem. That's what people were suggesting, suggesting anyway. And then I looked up, or and then I found out it's a JFET transistor. Or a MOSFET, I think, actually. And a way you can tell if MOSFETs are bad is checking the continuity between the drain and the source, which is the two pins on the right side when the flat side's up. And those pins aren't supposed to have continuity unless it's blown. And uh, guess what? They do have continuity. So that's. A good sign that it's blown, or bad, somehow. 
So hopefully, when I replace that chip, it'll fix it. And this is a relatively cheap amplifier, but, you know, it's still nice to have for projects. 15 watt amp. It's got a nice power supply. Even if I can't fix it, the scrap that I can get from this thing is pretty good. Nice transformer, some, a decent 8 ohm speaker. Uh, yeah, so, pretty big. No travel though, so that's kind of weird. Anyway, yeah, a lot of potentiometers, some knobs. I'm assuming if you have this problem and you have a 15R, which is the like the Lux model, it has reverb. Um, yeah, it's probably the same thing. I'll put transistor. So I'm hoping they'll fix it, and I'll try to keep you updated on this, but I wanted to do a quick video today, and this came up, so there you have it. Let's see how this goes when I get my parts in a few weeks. So until then, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.